Ladies and gentlemen, CMB Review is proud to present the Geek Vape Griffin 25 Top Airfly. Something we carry regularly at CMB. And it's one of the first RTDAs that we've carried. Geek Vape's a good company. Also brought us this tsunami. Tank itself looks pretty cool. Just your average style tank. It's got a really wide bore drip, drip tip. Pretty good size post. Really like that's got to be like three and a half millimeter holes, maybe three millimeter holes. That's a really good size. It's got Kennedy style airflow. Turn the bottom, it has adjustable airflow. Tank itself it has these holes. You can turn the tank against these slots to control your fluid. Everything else in the box comes with uh, some different color O-rings. You can customize your mod any way you want. Comes with a different. It comes with a different drip tip adapter, so you can change to a different drip tip. It comes with a ceramic smoked glass, which gives a really cool look to the mod. It's actually smooth on the inside too, so it'd be really easy to get in and off, on and off mod. We're not going to do that one today. It has a ceramic adapter, along with another rubber cover, to uh, so you can take it from dual coil, run single coil with a little block in there. And just put this adapter on there, keep the rubber from burning from the other side. And you can run single coil all day. And then lastly, get that thing out of there. It comes with this cool little three way tool. Awesome. Has a number one Phillips couple different size hex a lot of the uh, two sides of this tool you don't even use on the tank itself you can use this tool on other RDAs you have other RTDAs you have anything you want the tool is probably one of the most unique things about it it has this ring right here you can take the ring on and off. One of the bad parts about the ring, you have to drive in all the set screws in order to get the ring all the way off. I'm just taking it off right now so I can get this rubber adapter out. I like to run a dual coil today. And the ring's threaded. It has really smooth, fine threads. It doesn't seem to stick once you get it good and tight. You don't need to get it good and tight. I keep it on there just to kind of help control the fluid going to the cotton, which we'll cover a little bit later. We'll go on ahead and put this on our new coil master meter. Set it a meter. Today, we'll be using some pre made coils. Get them at CMB. And uh, these are actually Clapton. 
believe they called it a fuse clapton it's a lot bigger than your average clapton it's a really pretty coil once it's all lined up let's see if we can get a picture get a picture of the coil maybe not i don't think i'm gonna trick the camera today i wanted to for a second there Time to get a better camera. Alright. So we're going ahead. Get one side going in. I just like to put them all the put it all the way to the post. That way there isn't a whole lot of slack that you gotta pull out. flavor on this tank, especially just for a tank, is just amazing. I've used this tank for about a week and I've really grown partial to it. One of the only disadvantages to this tank is that you just don't have a lot of room to build. But you know, they can only make it so big. And the fact that you can pull something like this off and if it's done right, which I haven't done it wrong yet, then it won't leak. Which is pretty awesome. They have a tank like this set up like a regular atomizer that she used to. And it won't leak. Should have about all the slack out of it at this point. It's gonna have to be super pretty. Nobody's gonna see it. It's gonna be hid away. That's one side on. I'm at point seven. Side down. Even though the T tool is cool, sometimes 
You wind up scratching up your stuff a little bit. tight. You don't have a lot of room to build or play around with. You just got to put it in here. Make sure it owns. Fire it a couple times, cotton it, and then be done. Got a lot of room for a whole bunch of pretty builds. Two nine, let's fire it a couple times, see how it turns out. Where these pre-made CMB coils line up, they really are gorgeous. And today we're going to be wicking this with some cotton candy, also available at CMB. Very inexpensive surgical cotton. Surgical cotton is pretty awesome to wick with. Um, ever since I started using it, I definitely like it a little bit more than the organic cotton. So let's go ahead and pull some of this out. You ain't gonna need a whole strand. You need about a half a strand. Definitely wanna work it straight. Kind of pull it straight a little bit. Get the loose the pieces out of it as much as you can. It'll wind up just making a hassle later for you. And I try to roll it to a point probably still a little too much cotton but we'll give it a shot perfect and just go back and forth not really want to pull through anymore now so we'll go ahead and snip this and we're going to cut this off pretty short. You only want to have about mm, 7 millimeter, maybe. I mean, I'll kind of push it. I try to put as much as I can in there. Not everybody's the same. But no matter what, I don't get burnt hits. Another disadvantage that I noticed about this tank, well, not really like a big disadvantage, is that it seems to really hang on to a flavor for a while. And going from one flavor to another, it's just like a regular tank. Your cotton gets saturated, and it takes a long time, kind of, doesn't really matter what wattage you vape on or anything. And we're going to wick it with some of the new Karma Fluid, the Maya, M-A-Y-A, also available exclusively at CMB, it's really good flavor fluid. It's kind of like a strawberry cream fluid, and it is delicious. 
don't have much left, but I've got enough to wick this and put a little bit in the tank. And you definitely need to wick this really good. It's getting it everywhere, but you really got to wake this stuff. This cotton candy, it just sucks the juice up. It holds so much. That's why it's so good for this RDA and this build. You have a nice warm vape and not burn your throat out. You kind of want to pack it down, but don't pack it, pack it. You want to get it sitting over the four holes right here. Right here, and right here. Get it sitting over them real good. But you also want to leave some room for your airflow right underneath the coil right there. Now the first part time that you do this, it's going to be kind of tricky. There you go, I nailed it first time. We're going to run the Griffin today on the Wismic RX200S. Running about 95 watts. Filling it up ain't a problem. Just make sure that your fluid control shut off. You can see the metal. If you can see the metal, it ain't no big deal just to fill it up. It's got nice big fluid holes to fill it up with. You can literally just dump your fluid right in there. Just dump it out. And go ahead and screw it on real good and tight. Let's get a taste. It tastes spectacular. And you can see tanks on its side. There ain't no dripping. It's a good, dependable, all-day vape. You have the taste of an RTA. And the versatility of a tank. It's an all-day, all-day vape. Dependable. This is CMB Vapor. Thanks for watching.